What's up, guys? I want to talk to you about the very serious incident that happened to Elvis Presley, March 16, 1971. Elvis was in Nashville to record a religious album, a Christmas album, and a few singles. Elvis originally came in there with the ambitions of wanting to record a folk album. He sang songs like Don't Think Twice, It's Alright, That's What You Get For Loving Me. But this recording session was interrupted by some eye pain that just came out of the blue. Elvis had to leave the recording session in terrible pain coming from one of his eyes. He had to go directly to the doctor's office. Dr. Nick got a call to meet them there because Elvis's eye was in serious condition. Now the source of the pain was inside the eyeball where the nerve fibers and blood vessels are located. It was threatening Elvis's eyesight. Elvis had a problem with migraines which were triggered by his hypersensitivity to the light specifically the stage lights that were shining in his eyes while he was performing. Dr. Nick says that Elvis also suffers from Reuter's syndrome. Now these two factors caused glaucoma in Elvis, uh, which was a buildup of pressure in the eye. After examining Elvis, the doctor says, you're in terrible shape. You are in severe pain. I'd say a max grade 10. When I pressed your eye, it felt like a marble. Shit should feel like a grape. Your cornea is steamy looking, totally opaque because of the pressure that's in your eye. The pressure in a person's eye should be 10 to 15, maybe 20. Do you know what your pressure is, Elvis? No, sir, Elvis replied weakly. 80. Elvis's morale continued to sink. The doctor says, I can do one of two things. I can make a hole in your iris, which is surgery, and, or I can immediately give you a steroid injection in the eye and dilate it so we can break this open. If I don't do something now, there's no repairing it. You will lose your vision. Elvis cracks a joke. Well, David, have you done this before? <laughs> Elvis elects to take the shot. The doctor tells Elvis to remain still. Do not move. The doctor deadened the white of Elvis's eye, inserted a speculum to hold his eyelids open, and with steady hands injected a long needle full of steroids directly into Elvis's eyeball. Almost immediately, the pressure in Elvis's eye began to drop. What discipline, Dr. Meyer boasted. Elvis did not move. He was tremendous. He was incredible. The doctor went on and on boasting about how well Elvis performed under pressure and didn't even flinch. Realizing the coast was clear, Elvis was allowed to leave the hospital and headed back to Memphis. The only downfall was Elvis had to wear an eye patch for about three weeks after his eyes totally healed up. And afterwards, Elvis always wore dark colored glasses to protect his sensitive eyes. Elvis didn't forget about his doctor, though. He showed him gratitude for saving his sight, giving him an impressive contemporary metal desk equipped with a television, a tape recorder, and other gadgets for the new office he had just opened. He had also become a welcome guest at Elvis's live shows. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this story about Elvis's eye incident. If you have, hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, check the description for other links that you may find enjoyable.